Out of all the nations in Europe, no particular country seems to have more love, or perhaps a more fitting word would be obsession, with transportation and logistics than the EU's main economic powerhouse, Germany. Boasting a population of just over 83 million people, Germany's position in the heart of Central Europe makes them the continent's king of international trade. With a cultural emphasis on practicality and common sense, the infrastructure of the country known by many names just might make it one of the best places on earth to be a truck driver. But I suppose those best able to discern the truth of that statement are the estimated 500,000 truck drivers who make their home in the nation adorned in black, red, and gold. The roads of Germany are dominated by renowned European truck brands such as Scania, Volvo, Iveco, DAF, and of course the popular German brands MAN and Mercedes. As one might expect, Mercedes-Benz is consistently the best-selling truck brand in the country. And though their price tag may seem a bit lofty, consumers find themselves repeatedly swayed by the manufacturer's long-standing track record of reliability and domestic dominance. Specifically, the Mercedes-Benz Actros is the most commonly purchased by German truckers, a model which has achieved success in many areas of the globe. In terms of styling, on the surface, German trucks may look quite similar to certain Dutch, French, Belgian, and other Western European truck designs, though there are a few differences which can be used to distinguish them on the road. As truck design is very much an individual choice, I'm speaking very generally here about overall trends in the country, but German trucks tend to be a bit more muted in terms of colors than some other European nations. Unicolor designs featuring silver, black, white, and red are common, while those who do decide to have their trucks custom painted sometimes opt for more elaborate and refined artwork, as opposed to punchy and brightly colored graphics. In addition, Germany seems to be more reserved in terms of lighting, chrome, and additional exterior features, with add-ons such as bull bars being much less frequent than in neighboring Netherlands. Again, trucking culture throughout Europe is built on the backs of many countries and stylings, as the free flow of traffic brings design ideas across the continent, so there are plenty of German trucks which choose to be loudly colored, brightly lit, and with ample exterior modifications. If there's one thing Germans certainly do best, it has to be their roads. As of 2023, Germany lays claim to the 12th largest road network in the world, with a total size of 644,480 kilometers in length, almost all of which is paved. The vast majority of roads are in excellent condition, and are maintained frequently, though in some more rural areas and select sections of eastern Germany, you may occasionally run into subpar stretches of asphalt. Germany is also home to the Autobahn, one of the only motorways in the world that doesn't have a speed limit in certain sections, and is, by some, considered to be the best motorway network in the entire world, though other neighboring nations would beg to differ. While trucks do have to follow a speed limit on the Autobahn and other roadways, usually being capped around 80 km an hour, much of truck speed is governed by internally installed speed limiting devices which prevent heavy trucks from exceeding 90 km an hour. Despite the regulation and probable disappointment that they aren't allowed to drive as fast as they please, German truckers are still lucky to be able to experience some of Europe's finest roads and landscapes. On average, German truck drivers make around 46,000 euros a year, the seventh highest salary in the world, though many seasoned drivers are able to make much more than this. Drivers in Germany are limited to a maximum of 13 hours working in a 24-hour period, nine of which are spent driving. However, they are permitted to work 10 hours, no more than two days a week. As Germany complies with EU truck standards, articulated trucks are generally kept to a maximum total length of 18.75 meters, and a maximum weight of 50 metric tons, notwithstanding oversized loads and special transport operations. So, is German trucking the best? Well, really it all depends on who you ask and what you're comparing German trucking to. But at the very least, those who make their living on the roads of Germany are saved from excessive potholes, overwhelmingly drab landscapes, and the pains of navigating a 10-lane highway. This doesn't mean their job is easy, though. Far from it. So if you happen to live in Germany, or anywhere else, take the time to thank any truck drivers you happen to run into, and maybe just give them a little more space when you see them on the road. Thanks for watching. Please check out my Midtown Madness 3 video on screen right now and linked in the description below. I spent the better half of three months working on it only for YouTube to shove it into a dark corner where nobody could see it, so I'd really appreciate any support on that project. It's by far the best thing on this channel. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and keep your eyes open for some more content dropping soon. Thanks again, and goodbye.